Light therapy is a natural way to promote healing and control pain. It is a safe, painless, and non-invasive therapy used to increase circulation, reduce inflammation, stimulate your immune system responses, and provide relief from acute and chronic pain, plus much, much more. Your All Light has the ability to be effective both indirectly through our acupressure points and directly by putting it where it hurts or where the wound or injury is. This light therapy is applied directly to the skin in any area of pain or injury or by following specific traditional Chinese medicine or TCM charts. These charts are based on the acupoint meridian system. If your goal is to stimulate the meridian acupoints, treat your virus points, promote surface wound healing, are working on a skin condition, or just have a very sensitive client, then we always suggest using the lowest power setting. If you need to release a tight muscle or knot, or are working on a large wound, then you may want to use the middle or even the highest setting as they have a faster penetration of light into the tissue and tend to drive the light a little bit deeper but much wider and much faster. Just a side note about the different power settings. Higher power settings do not drive the light deeper into the body. They drive the light faster and cover a wider area but all red photons, whether they are LED or lasers, react the same when they penetrate through the skin and enter the body. When they hit the layer of body fluids, which is about eight to 10 millimeters below the surface of the skin, they will disperse. That is true regardless of the setting and the power. All red photons have the same characteristics. So don't be fooled by people telling you that it goes deeper because it does not. Another thing to keep in mind is that although hair or fur will not interfere with the penetration of the light, it is not intended to go through clothes. It will penetrate white or very thin material if you can't get around it, but any Colored clothes will block most of the energy, and so we suggest not trying to use the light unless you absolutely have to in that situation. There is no need to add pressure when using your all lights. Simply place your light directly on the skin or your animal's fur or hide. In the case of hypersensitivity or excessive wound injuries, hold your light slightly above the area. Applying pressure will not improve the effect of the light on tissue or acupoints and may actually lessen the results as the collagen has now been compromised. There is no set time duration for a, a light session. A little will go a long way, so when in doubt, just do what you can or what is comfortable. When stimulating the acupoints, 10 to 15 seconds per point is usually sufficient. When working on a tight muscle, you may want to stay on that spot a little bit longer. We have found that repeating an area produces better results than staying in one spot for a longer period of time. That being said, feel comfortable to do what works for you. There are no set rules. And just remember that stronger is not always better. So we recommend that you always start on the lowest setting, evaluate your results, and adjust accordingly. For the direct use applications, and this applies to the red, the blue, and the green light, place your light directly on or slightly above the injured or affected area. Leave the light in one place for 10 to 30 seconds, and you can use any of the three power settings. Then pick up your light and move it approximately one inch, repeat the 10 to 30 seconds application, Pick the light up, move it again, and repeat this until you have gone all around your infected area. This procedure is called surrounding the dragon. 
And for maximum results, we repeat this two to three times. If while you're doing this, you happen to notice any red rings, that is just an indication that the light and your body have interacted and it is nothing to be alarmed about. In fact, this is an indication that you are in the right area and that you are getting results. We suggest that when treating a very fresh hematoma, that you use the blue light as you would normally use ice. Then you would apply the red light above and below the injured area to encourage circulation to go through the wound, but not actually right on the area that has already too much circulation in it. Now let's talk about indirect applications. When working indirectly with our acupoints, place the light directly on or above the point. Always, always use the low setting and leave the light in place for 10 to 15 seconds. Meridians and the corresponding acupoints are the pathways through which energy flows. As this is a very involved concept, it is not the intention of this video to go into detail explaining this methodology. But a simple way to think about it is to consider your home as the acupoint and the meridians are the streets that take you to your various locations. Do not be concerned if you cannot figure out the precise location of an acupoint. Pinpoint accuracy is not necessary as acupoints will vary in size, but your all light produces enough light to cover that area. If you are following your charts and are relatively close, your light will cover and stimulate the acupoint. All you need to be able to do is to look at the chart displayed in your at a glance reference chart and then find that same physical location on your body. Apply the light to that point and you will achieve your desired benefit without the need to be needlepoint accurate. One thing you will want to keep in mind though is when using the indirect application method, be careful not to overstimulate acupoints by applying your all light too frequently. Unless you are in an emergency situation, we don't recommend stimulating acupoints more than every other day. Every three days is usually sufficient. But please refer to your at a glance reference charts for specific acupoints used for treating various conditions. How often you use your all light is determined by your own needs. There are times when longer treatments are necessary and there are other times when a condition will respond unbelievably fast. Use your all light as often as you like. However, for optimal results, you may want to try some of these suggestions. For an acute injury or condition, apply the all light a couple of times a day for the first several days. This will jumpstart the healing process and may even prevent cellular deterioration or death. After the first few days, apply your light once a day for several days until the healing is complete. For any surgical operations, the all light will accelerate both your pre and post surgical recovery time by applying it directly to your surgical site. For a chronic injury or condition, apply the all light every other day for several weeks. As the condition improves, you can reduce the number of times you are using the light to twice a week until you or your animal is no longer in any pain. At the first sign of a virus, apply your all light two or three times a day onto your carotid artery for about 10 minutes. Repeat this until your symptoms disappear. Be sure to reapply the first sign that you see any symptoms returning. For your best results though, be sure to follow all of the points shown in your cold and virus chart that is offered in your at a glance reference book. For general immune system wellness and illness prevention, stimulating your acupoints with your all light two to three times a week is usually sufficient. Just keep in mind that when we're stimulating our acupoints, we always use the low setting. Light therapy treatment is a gentle, painless, safe, non-invasive, and non-abrasive form of treatment. 
Many individuals and animals find it relaxing, easy, and calming. Although the light itself does not create any sensation, the body responds to the accelerated cellular activity. This often results in a mild tingling, a sense of warmth, or even a short period of relaxation. One thing that we would like to ask you to keep in mind is that stimulation of acupoints with the allite may reveal some chronic issues that have been buried or dormant. Be sure to follow up two to three days later with another session as you could possibly feel worse before you feel better. Your body is releasing toxins and that release could be experienced in either a physical or emotional form. This is perfectly natural. Just accept whatever occurs and move forward. Feel free to experiment with your all light. This type of therapy is more of an art than a science. Just find what works for you.